everybody video here for you today now first I just want to thank the people that have sent me the messages on Facebook and my channel's email a lot of great topics to explore that is for sure and it's really a reason why my list is so long for videos to do because I constantly get great topics to look into from my subscribers I also want to say this longtime channel performer and friend Michael Grimm will be competing on America's Got Talent the champions edition starting in early January I just wanted to mention that very cool Michael and I look forward to seeing you down at the Smith Center sometime soon but today we're gonna to go down to Elk Grove California just south of Sacramento and what was found here and excavated about 108 years ago is very fascinating and this is just a weird story coming from ancient America most of the mound builder sites that we associate with the so-called tall people or giants come from like the Ohio Valley and parts east of the Mississippi well but just south of Elk Grove California there's excavations done on mounds with burials in them and this went back many thousands of years but this story has really been lost in the ancient America files so I'm glad to do it lost history that's what my channel is all about let's just read a little now this is a story you can only find on my channel I just thought this was an interesting one for the ancient America series it says early evidence of gigantism like disease found in 3800 year old California skeleton it says the remains of a man buried 3,800 years ago in a richly decorated California grave bear some unusual but unmistakable features. A protruding brow, a lantern jaw, thick leg and arm bones, and teeth so crowded together that at one point they erupt in rows three deep. Now multiple rows of teeth, that is one thing I've heard Jim Vier and other people talk about when talking about large skeletons found by early colonists. It says a California man is among the very few examples of acromegaly ever found in archaeological record and it's the oldest ever identified according to Dr. Eric Bartolink, a physical anthropologist at California State University in Chico. It is the earliest evidence of this condition in humans, the only documented case from prehistoric California. Acromegaly has only been identified definitively at two other archaeological sites in North America, Bartling said, in the remains of a male buried in New Mexico about 600 years ago and an unsexed 1,100-year-old skull found in Illinois. Unsexed? They couldn't even determine what sex it was? That's a little weird. The newly found case in California adds to the scant literature of the disorder, he said, potentially improving how acromegaly may be diagnosed in other remains and also shedding light on the history of the disease perhaps even how it was interpreted in the ancient past. The man, believed to have been in his mid-thirties at the time of death, was found in a burial mound with 176 other bodies near the Central Valley town of Elk Grove. Labeled as Burial 37, the grave was originally excavated in the 1930s and dated to 3750 to 3950 years ago. And I think this area where these burial mounds were located by Elk Grove was initially looked into in 1912, but this story kind of is buried. Now this skeleton was not over six feet tall, but it had clear indications of kind of some unusual features and features that have been talked about in bodies that were found by colonists in the Ohio River Valley and other portions of the East. But it says he was in a richly decorated grave did his unusual features give him status? But he appeared to be somebody very important in this early culture coming from almost 4,000 years ago. But here is the area that this work took place in, Mount Diablo in the background. But it says, myths and legends from all corners of the world are filled with stories of giant men who once ruled the earth. These beings were powerful, mighty, and often feared by the locals. Unfortunately, the subject of giants has been much neglected by historians who far too often dismiss the stories of the ancients as pure fables. However, we have seen on several occasions that many myths and legends have been confirmed by modern science. We should keep investigating the subject of giants as they provide a key to unlock some of history's most baffling mysteries, and they can help us to better understand our distant past. This man was part of a hunter-gatherer culture known as the Windmiller, these people buried their dead laying flat and face down rather in a flex position with the heads pointing west and that is a cross-culture thing the heads pointing west 
the direction of the setting sun. But I just found this to be a very interesting story. Giants have uh, come up a lot in my comments sections on Ancient America. And I know a lot of you are familiar with Jim Vieira's work and a few other people that have really looked into this mystery. I know Hugh Newman and uh, JJ have talked about it on their channels. But the multiple rows of teeth in this person, did he have an actual disease or was this just something passed down from his ancestors? I just wonder. A lot of unanswered questions in ancient America, that is for sure. But I thought this was an unusual story. We have people of the mound builders phases coming from a thousand, two thousand, three thousand years ago in the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys. Well, this comes from four thousand years ago and it's in California. That's odd by itself. But it says here, while archaeology in the San Joaquin Valley began in the 1890s, it was not until the early 20th century that excavations were conducted in the southern Sacramento Valley. Mounds of the southern Sacramento Valley are remnants of Indian villages. Native American people constructed and rebuilt villages over periods of hundreds, even thousands of years, often at the same location along rivers and creeks, on natural cray knolls that stood above springtime floodwaters. One of the earliest local digs near Elk Grove was at the Cantrell Mound, a late prehistoric village and historic cemetery site situated on a slight rise along the Consumnes River overflow about one half mile outside the city of Elk Grove planting area. Elmer J. Dawson conducted excavations at the site in 1912. After the first discovery was made, there were many others made and recorded in the years to come. In 1929, Hughes recorded the Panabreaker Mound, among other sites, within what is now the city of Elk Grove planting area between Deer Creek and the Consumus River. But my general thoughts on giants is this. I have a little trouble with the word giants. These people were as tall as the tallest people living today, a little over seven feet tall. But that was extremely rare in the ancient world and is still rare today. These people had status, and there is evidence of large people being found all over the ancient United States. And now we have gigantism found in a 3,800-year-old California skeleton that was put in a mound and buried a long time ago. I just find this a very unique story, and I think this is the only channel on YouTube that has covered this. So down here, south of Elk Grove, California, just south of Sacramento, there was an ancient Indian village a find that seems a little strange what is written about it today but the way this guy was buried he was certainly an important figure coming from this lost culture hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day